Hello, everybody. Uh, T1 Glistener Elf here with your name or your tag? Both, I guess. Both. Okay. I am. A couple things. Jay, so, oh, you got it. Huh? Introduce it. You, you got it. Yeah. So, uh, I'm James Garden. I'm uh, at Noggle Bandit on Twitter and Moto and everything else. Um, and uh, this is the deck that I won Modern tonight with. It's a uh, blue, white, death and taxes, and the blue is really just for Spellcoiler and Geisa Saint Trap. Undefeated on matches and games. Yeah, I, I think my the lowest life total was against you because you hit me with a big. Um, <laughs> Lowest life total was against the Infect deck. <laughs> yeah, I think I got down to like 14 against you, and that was the lowest my life total was all night. Dang. Um, so it's um, so it's just a, like a stock Death and Taxes deck for Modern, but you add blue for two Geists and Spellcoiler, which right now one of the Geists is in the board because I was playing around with a second Remorseful Cleric, and it actually came in handy because I played against Snapcaster Mage twice. Okay. But um, So basically it's just a stock Death and Taxes list, so like old school Modern, you would have Path, Vile, Thalia, um... Uh, Cat Jesus, but so with the recent unbanning of Stoneforge Mystic, you get to play some other shenanigans. So I have a Sword of Fire and Ice and a Batter Skull, mm -hmm. and um, what's more fun than Geist of Saint Trap wearing pants? So I have Geist of Saint Trap in the deck, so I can put Batter Skull on him. Nice. Uh, really, that's the main goal. Um, and so you have, um, and there's a couple new cards that have like actually been really good. Like uh, like Selfless Savior was absolutely phenomenal every single time I cast it. Like, um, like tonight, Selfless Savior, um, he beat Anger of the Gods, he beat multiple Lightning Bolts in the same game. Yep. Because uh, I, ha like, I have a Lurus on a Vile, so I Selfless Savior to protect Thalia so they can't combo off, and then yeah. the next turn I play Lurus and recast him, and then hold up Spell Queller on a Vile, and like, the game just <laughs> sticks together. Um, I will say this, like, uh, it can be kind of dicey to play more blue cards in your sideboard other than the two or three that I have, like the, the deputies and the second guys, because um, with Leon and Arbiter, um, I'm playing four Field of Ruin and four Ghost Quarter, um, and since Leon and Arbiter is symmetrical, you can't always go get your island if you have Field of Ruin. Mm -hmm. So, like, there were a couple games where I just couldn't cast Spell Quiller, but I just got lucky and won with, like, the white creatures I had in play. Um... But you kind of have to walk that line, so I'm... Leonard Arbiter did win me a lot of games, and it's like, um, it kind of fills the same role as like Ashiok Dream Render without having to be a Planeswalker that can't defend itself. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the mana's actually... I, I wouldn't make any changes to the mana other than the fact that um, if you really want to play blue cards and you wanted to play like some number of meddling mages, I would just cut... Cut Leon and Arbiter completely for Meddling Mage, and then make your lands better, and maybe play a couple fetches or like some more utility lands. These are largely filling the same role anyway. Arbiter is hating the opponent. Meddling yeah, Mage but is this is better opponent. against like um, like um, like the red green deck that I yeah. played tonight. Like I ghost quartered him and knocked him off of two sprawls, and it, if it had been something else, and he would have just it wouldn't have mattered because he would have just. Like, um, he's not searching his library with a fetch. This was uh, in in conjunction with these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, like, in a vacuum, I actually think Meddling Mage is probably better if you're not playing yes. this package. I wouldn't just play Leon and Arbiter, uh, in, like, raw with nothing, no, like, no way to build around or anything and like Meddling that. Meddling Mage is usually harder to play anyway because you have mm -hmm. to know what the opponent's on. If yeah. you don't know what, what's in a human's deck, you don't know what to name with Meddling Mage. The same right. Like, you know, blue, all that jazz. Whereas Leo yeah, and Arbiter, this one's easier works. to play if you know how these work yes. really well. Like, like there was one game tonight where um, we're Bo playing uh, Ponza. He, <laughs> he led on um, Stomping Ground Utopia Sprawl, and I just ghost quartered it without playing anything on yep. my first turn, and it won me the game because it set him back, and he couldn't pillage me. Because my other turn one play would have been Land Vile, yep. and he would have pillaged the Vile, and I wouldn't have been able to catch up. But by setting him back, I just played one drops and hit my curve. Yeah, that works. Um, <laughs> Ponza. So like I so like I played Legacy in Modern tonight. It was great. My Ghost Quarter was perfect. Um, Blouses, cards that deck. cards that kind of suck sometimes. Uh, a darker waste, but you kind of have to have it unless you like. This could be um, Hallow Fountain. Fountain, yeah. But sometimes you just play a Vial and then you never tap it for colored mana again. Like especially in matchups where you take this out because they have a million removal spells. Yeah. And it's just like a house of cards. Mm -hmm. um, any questions? About so the main deck? when you take out the spell Squella, you bring in what Geist and um, Deputy dies to removal anyway. But yeah, that or like Takali Honor Guard. So like if they have a bunch of ETB abilities, I'm just ah. um, you're not trying to counter them and keep them off the board. You're just letting them enter and letting them do nothing. Or um, like there was one matchup tonight where I was playing against Prowess and I just took these out for Forge Tenders because this was gonna die when it resolved. Um, 
Okay. So the Lurus is in the main board. Um, you don't have like a. There's no way that you could move it as your companion and then take out. You'd have to take. You'd have to cut really too much stuff. God, you have. You can't play any Geist, equipment. Queller, the, the equipment. Battle oh yeah, because it's. So like, it's if, if you tech. move Lurus to the sideboard, <laughs> you can't play the Stoneforge package unless you want to play cheaper equipment, which I'm not. I mean, I'm no. sure there's something you could play, but it wouldn't be as good as yeah, the swords. No. Um. Okay. A lot of people ask me every time I cast it tonight, like why fire and ice instead of feast and famine. But um, the thing is, like a lot of the removal that I've seen right now is red, and I have these and these anyway, mm -hmm. so I'm not as worried about fatal push. I'm more worried about creatures blocking, and there's yeah. more red and blue creatures at this particular store that I'm worried about blocking. Um, depending on where I'm playing, I would you swap those, but I would never take this completely out of my yeah. deck. Like, like the through the, my playing uh, Andrew on through the breach tonight. Like I just hosed him because I killed a Snapcaster Mage every time, um, and like drawing cards was great. It just kept me it kept me with enough fuel to where he couldn't clear the board and set up for a through the breach because I had too many permanents, so it wouldn't have killed me. Can't bolt you, can't command, right. it, can't charm. I mean, they can tap it down, but they can't bounce it. Right. Right. All that jazz. Um, yeah, but other than that, um, so, remorseful cleric in the main board as a two of. Is it just a catch all against like a snapcaster dredge? Um, uh, Renin six. I, I used it to be Renin six tonight. I used it to be snapcaster mage tonight. Like like this, getting rid of a lightning bolt that snapcaster mage was targeting completely won me the game because I had, he had five lands in play an Emrakul and two through the breaches, and okay. I had, I had seen the through the breaches. Um, and so I had a Thali in play, and he was on five. So he tried to end of turn Snapcaster Bolt to set up for Through the Breach. Okay. And um, I vialed this in and exiled his graveyard in response to the trigger, and he just lost the game. And I imagine we could get in a situation where we could just keep yeah, doing Yeah, I, I did that against him, and just his graveyard was gone for the rest of the game. Because he, he ended up casting like two or three Snapcasters over the course of the game. Okay. Okay. And obviously there has to be a lot of colorless mana for Field and Ghost Quarter to do their thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, two planes, one island to get with the Fields. Yeah. yeah well, them. so you're, you're going to play any number of these playing taxes, but there's an island because of the field yeah. instead of... It's not Encroaching Waste. What is it? The one where if they have four, you tech can edge. activate Yeah. Tech, so instead yeah. of Tectonic Edge, I chose Field of Ruin so that I could fetch the island and play less, like, actual blue sources okay. because there's not a Horizon Land that makes blue and white. If there was, then I just wouldn't play a Dark Hour Waste at all, probably. Um... Is there a world where you can see yourself having more mainboard geist? Yeah, uh, I, when we play, te play tested earlier today before the tournament, I had no fourth spell queller, a geist in the main, and I was playing a um, what is it? I was playing a worship. Okay. And uh, ah. I every time Cat Jesus resolved, I didn't have enough mana to cast worship, so I just cut worship and moved a geist to the board, and a fourth spell queller because spell queller was really good. Um, and Thalia Worship. I mean, it, it obviously it makes sense. It's a creature deck with Worship. But right. That's but, a um, exactly. Yeah. And I'm just used to playing a Worship with like uh, with like the green white mid range deck for Modern, or like sometimes like Bank Company if I play it in Modern. Sure. Which has been a while since I played a deck like this. So, um, uh, I, I won all eight of my games tonight, and seven of them were won solely because I had Geist of Saint Traft in the deck. I just got really lucky and drew him a lot. <laughs> um, Fair enough. So, but any of I would say roughly half of those games if I didn't have Geist I don't win like I, mm -hmm. it was super close like against red green the clock was tight I was almost dead okay um so like sideboards so yeah. everybody knows how Phyrexian Revoker works everybody knows what Tukatli Honor Guard does uh Burton Forge Tender uh not only does it have protection from red but you can prevent the damage from a red source um, you can keep talking. I'm just Birds and Forge Tender, <laughs> particularly at this store, there's a ton of Anger the Guys. So you can sacrifice the Forge Tender to just prevent the damage to the entire board instead of um, saving, like, since it has pro red, like, yeah, it survives. Yeah. But, like, I sacrificed it against red green and saved Athalia, a Leonin Arbiter, and a Lurus. Jeez. For one mana. So uh, there's that. And then you have Relic Order. Uh, this is a card that uh, legacy players will expect. They'll, they'll know what it does, but it is like an Oblivion Ring on a Leonin for artifacts and enchantments. Yeah. So you use it to pick off Blood Moons, or like right now, like I use it to beat Clothis tonight when I was at two. Like he, he Blood Braided into Clothis, put Clothis into play, and then I vowed in Relic Order and kept myself alive for a turn, and then I killed him on the crackback with a Geist. I'm sure that you've come across Ooh. the white white in a deck with so much colorless mana um, um, there was one time where I couldn't cast it and um, he blew my vial up uh, mm -hmm. again against red green in the finals yeah. he blew my vial up with a pillage and then I drew this the next turn and couldn't cast it mm. and I lurist um, there was a lurist in play and I yeah. used the lurist to replay the vial and I had to wait two turns before I could cast it oh 
because oh, no. this guy was in play and I couldn't I couldn't use my field to go get it. And then um, the second time where that happened, he blood mooned me and I just forgot to ghost quarter myself. I was ghost quarter myself off of a dark hour waste and go get another planes because I had one in play. You still but, won it though. Still won it. Yeah, I'm just. It's been a while since I had to ghost quarter myself. Yeah. I'm not. You, know, you don't play it, neither Reliquary and Modern anymore. This is um, me not blaming you on that. <laughs> right. But um, normal cuts that I make, I usually will swap the swords if they're bad. Or like if they're not pressuring my life total, I'll just put both swords, cut the batter skull. Uh, never cut guys, there's always one in there. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'll trim Leonin Arbiter on the draw because you can't take as much advantage of their fetches. Yeah. Um, a lot of matchups, Remorseful Cleric just comes completely out if they're not using their graveyard. Like against you, I cut both Remorse Remorseful Clerics. Yeah. Um, I've never cut either one of these. They're always great. Um, Selfless Spirit, I didn't get the cut against, in fact. Because the Indestructible versus minus one, minus one counters. It's a one drop. That's fair. It blocks. That's true. Unless you give it him Like, I throw it under the bus, and then, um, like, if I have a Geist in play and I'm trying to set up to kill you, mm -hmm. I use this. So, so, like, a lot of the time, I had a Geist that would trade for your guy with the Rancor on it. Yeah. Um... And like I, I didn't want to run into like a mute. I didn't know you weren't playing mutagenic growth. So if I block with the Geist that I had in game two, yeah. and then sacrifice this, uh, Geist makes it, and I can kill you on the crackback. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I have to block with the Geist, and these just aren't in the deck, that I have to have this, or like I just throw my hexproof threat away. Okay. But I had to jam it on turn three so that I could put a clock on you. Otherwise, I just like literally have no chance in the game at all. Gotcha. Um, I cut, and I always, every time on the draw, cut one Aether Vial. Um, sometimes I'll cut one Field of Ruin if I know Leonin Arbiter isn't going to be a huge deal in the matchup, because it's it takes mana to activate, and like if you have a Vial in your hand, you just don't care. That's probably incorrect. I don't really feel comfortable cutting a land in a deck with this few lands all the time. It makes time, sense, but play versus draw, but yeah. There's a lot of the creatures that you just like have to have a lot of the time, so cutting a land and a Vial on the draw is sometimes... Uh, easier than making a decision that could cause you to lose the game if you don't have them in your deck. And in your defense, um, it's 23 lands in a deck that curve tops on three with Ether Vial. Right. So yeah, it, it makes sense. I think you. I think you have one land to get. All right. But yeah, um, and that's about it. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty simple. It's really bad against removal. <laughs> Note to self. I'm glad I dodged the Jun player in the uh, ring. Uh, um, also. Um, I won the lottery tonight because I blew someone up with a Ganjo Castle in Modern. That's never happened before. Okay, okay, do tell. Uh, he... Thalia so Geist. Uh, well, I used it to prevent um, prevent two damage from an Anger on Geist against Red Green, and I used it to save a Thalia from a... Is it Charm? <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Is it Charm is the two damage? Two? Yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right, it's two. <laughs> and then he picked my land up and read it, and then I won the game. It was great. All right. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate the, uh, it. The worst thing that happened to me tonight was I put a sword and a batter skull on a germ, and then the germ got Archmage charmed, and I got slapped with both of those equipment. And then I won anyway because I was very lucky. Did you guys? Um, I can't remember what. I returned the batter skull to my hand with the activated ability. Okay. And then just blocked the sword. Ta da!